What we're doing here is setting the throttle position sensor output voltage. One, making sure it works, and two, making sure it stops and starts in the correct ranges. Um, there's a idle setting voltage that most books give you. Um, Honda doesn't give you anything. The other books, as a rule, they give you a voltage output at idle or closed throttle, and then hopefully one at wide open throttle. If they do, they're both kind of critical. They give you wide ranges. Um, do they work better at certain numbers? Yeah. Will they run in those ranges? Yeah. Um, are there specific sets of numbers within those ranges that it works better? Yeah. So, the specific set of numbers, that just comes through testing or, you know, input from the right, <laughs> from the right person. Uh, Honda stuff, had to figure that out, you know. Done enough testing with the, with the smart body stuff, um, took enough notes off various stock bikes, which ones worked best, which ones worked didn't, just started moving stuff around uh, to see where things work better. Uh, made most power, so there's a specific set of uh, numbers on each, each bike. And I will explain to you what happens um, a lot of times is with the idle number, um, a specific idle number, say for example, on this Kawasaki, it's, the book says 0.52 to 0.675 volts. Um, is what the output needs to be when the thing is when you're starting it when it's giving it fuel for idle and when it's in that voltage range that voltage range goes back to the computer and that tells the computer hey the bike's starting uh, it's in idle mode give it this much fuel if you have if the voltage number is less than that um, you probably won't give it any fuel or it will give it a minute amount of fuel bike probably won't start if you have more than that what happens is then it becomes uh, as the throttle and as you open the throttle the voltage output increases so if you the higher you go the more fuel you're going to get so if it's set higher than the idle range if the last number in the idle range is 0.675 and the thing's set at 0 0.68 0 0.69 well it's probably not going to start if it does start it's probably going to run pretty rich because all of a sudden it's in the next higher fuel cell and it's getting more fuel than it really needs at idle so those will cause you problems um, every once in a while, if you take a TPS off, you probably didn't get back in the right place. You might think you did, but you move it so minutely to change numbers that you don't even realize it. If you take it off, put it back on, bike's not running right, uh, I can fix it for you because to know where the number, the right numbers are, or even to have the equipment to do it, to find a uh, five volt source, try it. It's not, uh, <laughs> it's not that easy, so, um, you know. <laughs> Instead of thousand dollars on a five volt source, it's just easier probably to, to send it in here and get it fixed. Um, sometimes the throttle, uh, stock throttle bodies to move around in there, they could rub the frame, and that could actually move the TPS. Kawasaki only has one bolt. Yamaha only has one bolt. The Yamaha one's not going to hit. Um, Honda has two bolts, so they're probably not going to move. But Kawasaki one is possible for it to to rub on the frame, move it out of position, and cause some issues. But you'd know that. If you took the bike apart, you'd see it, that it hit it on the frame. So, uh, yeah, we're going to check this one now and see where it's at. And I'll just kind of show you how it, how it works. Now, here are my little setup. I can dial in any voltage I want. And you really want exactly 5 volts going to it. So, grounds are hooked up. The output. The output's on the yellow on the Kawasaki, input is on the blue. Oops. Can you see that? So yeah, this one's at 0.61. It does fall within the range. Can it be a little better? It's pretty good there. Um, it can actually be a little a little better, but it's pretty good. I'll explain that to you slightly. When the because of the fact that it can be anywhere from 0.52. 0.675, and we've talked about the fact that when you open the throttle, the voltage output gets higher. Let's say that it was set at 0.52 right now, or 0.53. Would it work? Yes. Um, but what would happen is to get just past the 0.675 where it started to get to some more fuel, the throttle would open a little bit until it got to that number. So you would kind of create a lean position as it's opening up, you'd be getting some more air through it, but you wouldn't be getting any more fuel yet. So you really want to set it as close 
to possible to the end to the end number. 0.61 good. Yeah, it'll it'll be fine there. I'd probably set it personally. I'd probably set it at 0.65. Get a little bit closer to that tip point, what they call a tip point, going into the main the main fuel map, and then the throttle response will be very crisp. Uh, key on Kawasaki's is wide open. That one's that one's your key your key number. So we're gonna look at that. You can see as it, as it opens up how the voltage increases. So now wide open, 3.77. Does it fall within the range? Yes. Is it optimum? Uh, no. It's close, but it's not. It's not optimum. You have a wide range on a Kawasaki. Uh, 3.74 to 3.94, I believe. Um, and then there's a, a specific range in there within two tenths. Uh, learning this from the factory where uh, the timing map and the fuel map perfectly align. And when you stray from that, they start to separate. So that'll make the bike have a little bit more timing and a little bit leaner at the same time. Um, so you can either, you know, have kind of a quick, tight feeling on the bike or slow, uh, kind of richer feeling on the bike. So here, you know, if you've got if you've got a Kawasaki throttle body, you want to make sure that it's that it's optimum. Send it in. You can set it up to the correct numbers that are known that are known to be the best. I've never seen one from the factory that was set at the correct numbers, but most people don't know that stuff, so you would never know. Anyhow, you can kind of see how this works. Uh, if the contacts go away, these numbers can be all over the place. Um, if it's set wrong, especially if it overruns the number, let's say it goes up to four volts, if it's turned turn too far, rubbed on the frame, you took it off, got it in the wrong position, um, I mean even right, right here, you know, just just touching the throttle, I'm hardly even touching it. You can see how much that it's moving. So now just this little bit, and it's all it's it's out of its range. So even trying to line the little marks back up, half the times you're you know you're going to be off. So just keep it in mind uh, if it ever comes off, and that's all you really need to know about the TPS stuff.